I love Christmas. It's one mm. of my. It's probably my favourite time of the year. I love it. I love all the ceremonies. But you the only tradition. like it from the. I first love the of carols. December. I love the nativity. I love all of it. Right. However, there's a reason that Advent calendars start on December the first. Mm. That is when we should start celebrating. Because otherwise, you'd eat Christmas. too much chocolate. Which brings me to Kirsty Olson. Good morning to you. Good morning. You please. see, here's my problem with it. It's the commercialisation of Christmas yeah. that now begins in October that drives me nuts. Can we just point out, Kirsty has a fabulous show, The Handmade Christmas. I think 1st of December is when everything should kick off. I won't retweet Christmas trees until the 1st of December and I certainly don't put up my tree until around the 20th. You know, really? so Quite late. The 20th yeah. of December? Yeah, yeah. Mm. so I go late on Christmas. Mm. But Where do you put all the presents? Or are they not... They're sort of delivered hidden by away. Santa well, until no, no. Later. If the well, obviously they're not delivered. The ones that are delivered by Santa um, are, don't come until exactly the, yeah, Christmas Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve. That's but, what you meant, right, Susanna? I mean, you weren't. No, I mean the presents no, from your aunts, aunties and uncles and your godparents, uh -huh. and you know, you see those people earlier. Where do those presents? They don't go under the tree. They go hidden away because they would be fiddled with, shaken, yes. virtually <laughs> unwrapped mm. if they were anywhere near the tree before yes. uh, you know late December. But because Kirsty's Handmade Christmas is about preparation. We have gone a week earlier because lots of people over the years, it's our 10th Christmas show, our 10, 10 years of doing a Christmas show. And people say, can we have it a little bit earlier so that we can prepare? Because it takes time to make the yeah. things. And How it, much time do people need to prepare for Christmas, for goodness sake? Well, you well, know, it, clearly you're not the person in your house who prepares for Christmas. I get people who do the preparation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it takes them <laughs> quite a long Pay time. Pay them very well. Yes, yes. Um, Kirsty, you uh, sat down and told us that you were planning on bringing in some... Because you are the queen of handmade. Well, where are our presents? <laughs> well, so... On the show, we have these minty chocolates, homemade mint chocolates, and they're really delicious. Where they're are really they? easy to They sound lovely, don't they're they? They're delicious. <laughs> and so on Friday, me and the kids, we made the minty bit, but the chocolate dipping bit is a different process. And we were going to do that on Sunday night, but I went to my godson's 18th, and then we got into watching I'm a Celebrity. You chose Team Kate. Kate away over us. We chose Kate. Yeah. Basically, we okay. chose Kate over you. I'm really sorry. And then at half past nine last night, I thought, do I want to get the children into <laughs> melting chocolate and dipping I mean, sweet How can juice? somebody no. do a Christmas <laughs> gift programme and not actually bring us a gift? I mean, it's like beyond belief. I know, I'm really sorry. Isn't this part of the problem, though, I would say, Kirsty, with the whole handmade thing, is it does take quite a it, lot of it time. It does take quite... And you can sort of lose interest halfway, to be fair. <laughs> but, <laughs> Do you know what, Susanna? That's fair. Total fair. <laughs> and the thing about it, that's the great thing about the show, because half the people watch it and never make anything. It's just an hour of Brexit-free, politics-free, Prince Andrew-free, celebratory, oh. pretty environmentally sound loveliness. Well, now, now you've mentioned, you've mentioned, you mentioned the A and B word. <laughs> Start with the A word. What do you make of this, Andrew? You've... you've Flirted around the royals for a few decades. You've been in and out of their of their firmament. What do you what do you think of what's happened here? Be very careful who you associate with. Mm. It's as simple as that. Don't associate with people who have any anything anything at all. I mean, I, and I follow that rule. Mm. I'm sure Charlotte and, and Susanna follow that rule. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be hard though. It should not be hard to disassociate yourself from somebody who's a convicted. Pedophile. No, it shouldn't be hard. That should not be a no, difficult be moral decision no. for anybody no. to take. What about Brexit? How do we bring everyone back together, Kirsty? Funnily enough, I was thinking about that just about five minutes ago um, because last year when I came on, I talked about snow windows and yeah. this amazing guy who does the snow windows and I was thinking, what do I want on my snow window this year? Mm -hmm. And I thought, peace and love. Mm -hmm. and, and we really, really, really have to think about just understanding that people made different decisions for different reasons and at some point everyone has to be less angry. Yeah, I totally Just agree. Chill their boots and be less angry and realise that it, it's not in anyone's benefit to go around being enraged I, mean, I, I am staggered by how enraged and sort of slightly disconnected from reality friends and f some family have become. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't even have yeah. a normal conversation. No, it's just... It, you know, it was it was one of those things. It obviously doesn't suit the British psyche to have a, a binary vote of any kind, and it's been completely disastrous on many, many, mm. many levels. We just have to understand that people voted differently, and that's that's the end. That's the end of it. More importantly, even than Brexit and Prince Andrew, uh, front cover of Woman's Own magazine. I it's, saw it's that. It's over. 
I suggesting know. that Susanna and I, the war is so bad behind the scenes, I we know. can't actually work. Now, it does prompt the question, should this all be true? And I'm not confirming or denying any speculation <laughs> at this stage. There might be a vacancy. Yeah, where Piers is sitting. Yeah. Uh, so who would you suggest oh, that would and, replace and, him? It would be funny, but, you know, it's a natural progression to me. Glamorous brunette at <laughs> the top of her game, Actually, big TV often, star. We often get told... I wish. Yeah. That You're like I sisters, wish. really. I yeah. wish. Oh, I yeah. wish that yeah. that yeah. were true. Look at that. Well, the question really is, no, Kirsty, if is there no, is a vacancy, God no. forbid we lose Susanna, but no. we'd all move on. You we have what, to, as you said. You're we have to the move one on. most likely you know to Pierce, walk. You know Pierce what I said about the Queen? I would never comment on anything that is the Queen's <laughs> choice. I would no more seek to do this job <laughs> that someone with the patience of a saint does oh, thank every you very day. Very, very diplomatic yeah. of you. So you'll start Monday, yeah? <laughs> yeah? That's TV speak, but yes, Kirstie, I'll do it. when is Handmade Christmas on? Today, Yay! the first one today. Tonight, 5pm, oh. Channel yeah. 4. I won't be watching Sunday until Christmas. December the 1st. Yeah. Uh, but lovely to see you, as always.